Hey watch lovers, Brad from Brent Miller Jewelers. And today I have for us the King Seiko SPB371. This is the uh, more newly released 39 millimeter version with the date window here. This is the lovely blue dial. It's the only one of these I've got in stock so far. And I wanted to do a quick review on it. So again, the specs on this one, I measured above the crown, diagonally across at an even 39 millimeters, true to size. I also measured the polished, here you can see the polished bezel at 38.5. So it sits pretty flush. You can see just inside the case there. So 38.5 across the bezel. And then on this boxed kind of domed sapphire crystal, I measured that at 37.1. So um, I'm sorry, I'm reading my notes wrong. That's the 371 model, 33 millimeters across the uh, the crystal. That would be a large crystal, 33 millimeters. 12.2 um, millimeters thick, 46 millimeters lug tip to lug tip. However, we do have the male end length, so an effective lug to lug of 50.6. We have a 19 millimeter lug width, tapering down to 17 at the last link here. And then we have a butterfly style clasp. We do have a, I believe, pin and collar system here. Yep, pin and collar system. But it does look like we have some uh, smaller, maybe not half links here. So no micro adjustability. And that link does look smaller than some of the others to my eye. Maybe not. So um, getting a fit on this bracelet may prove a little bit more difficult than others. Again, with no micro, but uh, needless to say, the bracelet is really comfortable. Uh, moving along here, the solid stainless steel case back underneath there is the 6R55 movement, 72 hour power reserve. We have a signed non screw down crown, 100 meters of water resistance. The full bracelet I weighed with a, on the full bracelet, no links removed, 137.6 grams. Retail is $1,800. Absolutely love the 12 o'clock markers and just the detail on those. Overall, I think it's just a really a nice, attractive looking watch. If you did 37, the prior, the first, uh, first iteration of these, if the 37 was too small for you, this may be... Uh, a great option as well as if you needed a date or want the date complication. So let me throw this on my six and three quarter inch wrist. Unfortunately, I do not have a 37 millimeter in stock at the moment. However, our director owns the red one and I've asked for her to bring that in. If uh, this is still in stock when she brings it in for me, I will certainly do a, uh, a review comparing the two. I think it'd be fun just to see size difference of the 37 to the 39. I love having options. I do enjoy that they give you a, a little bit larger size for folks with a, maybe a larger wrist or need the date. So let me know what you think of the new King Seiko. As more of these come into stock, I will certainly review them, get the other dial uh, variants uh, up on our channel. If there's anything I can do for you, shoot me an email, brad at brentlmiller.com. Thanks for viewing, and we'll see you in the next video.